People, I'm Shaggy, the opinionated hippie, and this is part, I don't know what part this is, part 11 of my reviewing and ranking Frank Zappa cover albums. Not albums he did with covers, but other people covering Frank Zappa's music. Today I'm gonna discuss an album out of Italy that came out in 2008 by an artist named a pianist, a jazz pianist named, sorry if I mispronounced the name, I don't know if it's a hard G, or a soft G, Gilaco, Galaco, Gilasso, my Italian is not good, Veneer, um, Suana, which I think means it sounds like or sounds or something, uh, Frank Zappa. So Gilaco, Veneer, Suana, Frank Zappa, probably Jaco Veneer plays Frank Zappa, probably. Um, but anyways, yeah, it came out in 2008. It's very much uh, a jazz rock version of a bunch of Pretty good selection of Frank Zappa songs. I don't think there's anything in here where they're trying to like take something that shouldn't be jazz rocky and being too clever and making it jazz rocky. Um, some pretty good song choices on here. Um, there's 12 tracks on here. Um, and I think about half of them work really, really well. The other half are maybe just kind of average jazz rock bands covering Frank Zappa. Um, your band itself is about a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight piece with a singer. There is somebody who sings. Um, we got a couple saxophones. We got a trumpet. We got a guitar player who's got some pretty good guitar solos. I have to admit, the guitar solos always kind of surprise me. Like, hey, that is actually pretty interesting. Not trying to sound like Frank. A little more patience in the guitar solos than I think you find on a lot of Frank Zappa cover albums. Like he's really just this player. What's his name? Uh, Ricardo Chirion. Sh uh, really good guitar player. The stuff he's doing is fantastic. Um, drummer, double bass player. Um, all of this stuff is arranged by Glocko and he is the piano player. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Glocko, Glocko. My Italian's horrible. But anyways... It's a pretty good album. And I think when there are no vocals, it works better than when there are vocals. And being that the first one, two, three, four, five, six songs are all vocal free, and then four of the last six have vocals, the first half of the album I think is much stronger than the second half. And the second half definitely kind of wanes a little because I don't think the vocals don't add anything. Um, at times it almost sounds like they're seeing like phonetic enunciations of English words. Um, like, you know, like telling you all the zombie truth, you know, just very like we're hitting all the right syllables and all the right phonemes, uh, but it just doesn't feel felt as much as it just feels sung. Um, but there is some really good stuff on here. And like I said, the first half of the album, I think is particularly strong. Opens up with the Grand Wazoo, which is essentially the main theme run through twice. Um, we get those little pocket solos, but we don't get that long solo break in the middle where things are really stretching out. So we pretty much just get like two run throughs of like the Grand Wazoo theme and the head and all that kind of stuff. Um, pretty interesting. The instrumentation is good. There, it's played well. It's got some really good energy. Um, almost all the performances, there's life to them. There's a liveliness. Uh, the arrangements are pretty true, uh, to Zappa's arrangements, but, um, just what instruments are being used make it more interesting. Um, Blessed Relief is really nice um, as a second song to go from Grand Raz Wazoo into like the more spacious uh, Blessed Relief. Nice little spacey intro before we get to the theme. Some nice solos in there. Um, it has a nice relaxed pace to it. Um, we get a big Swifty, which has a two pretty interesting little sort of like kind of improv sections but almost immediately once we hit the sort of middle improv zone, we get the Carmen into, is it Wagner? No, it's not Wagner. Carmen into the William Tell Overture that they played on the 88 tour that you can hear on Make a Jazz Noise here. That gets the second time I've heard a cover band do Big Swifty and they're, they're literally taking that Make a Jazz Noise version here and duplicating that with that sort of Carmen, uh, what, I think it's William Tell Overture, right? Um, um, medley that Frank drops in the middle of that. So we get that. Um, but then we get some little bit of improv before and after that that's pretty interesting. Um, so the big Swifty, I think, kind of works. Um, and then the highlight, the highlight, I think by far the highlight of this disc 
And even if you don't get the disc, maybe try to check out this track. Zoot Allures and the piano. Veneer himself takes a really prominent lead role in the version, this version of Zoot Allures. Zoot Allures primarily being played by a piano is just brilliant. I think this, this might work better than like anything Frank did with Zoot Allures after like 75, 76. Like I think Frank's big band version of Zoot Allures in like the 80s. I think this is better than almost all of those. Um, we don't have an epic solo here like we do in those, uh, but the arrangement of this, like to me, the Zoot Allures on here is like almost definitive. I think it's the highlight of the disc. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It is it is such a fresh take on Zoot Allures, like it is Zoot Allures, but the instrumentation and the way it's presented, the very first time I was like, wait, what song is this? Like, what is this? I was like, oh my God, it's Zoot Allures. It took me a while to like put the melody uh, to a name just because it, it's just, it's a, it's a really good arrangement. I think Zoot Allures is like the peak on this album. Uh, that follows with the Dupree's Paradise, which is really good. Has a really nice solo section. There's a lot going on in this Dupree's. It's a really good Dupree's. Um, like, really good. Like, these first five songs, Grand Wazoo, yeah, we're not getting a lot of improv, but the arrangements of the actual written composition are great. Bless Relief, Big Swifty, they're stretching out a tiny bit. Zoot Allure's fantastic arrangement. Dupree's Paradise, nice and jazzy and loose. Feels like that 70s vibe that we're going for in like a Dupree's Paradise Lounge, all works perfectly. Uh, we get a Black Napkins, which is pretty good. Um, maybe not as high quality as the Zoot Allures and the Dupree's Paradise, but it's a Black Napkin, so it works. And then from here on out, we get a whole bunch of songs with vocals. And I just don't think the vocals add anything. And I think all of the songs would be better if they just had some other instrument doing the vocal lines, just playing the vocal melodies, just because... Um, the singer's not bad, but if there is one thing about Frank that you just can't replace, it's like Ike's voice or Bobby's voice or Frank's voice or Ray's voice. It's a hard, it's a hard shoe to fit. Um, but we get a City of Tiny Lights, fantastic solo section. Solo section works incredibly. Like the guitar player is taking his time. It's kind of a different attack, a different tone. It works perfectly. The guitar solo, I think, saves the City of Tiny Lights from other than just being some band covering City of Tiny Lights. Um, Fort Calvin is pretty interesting. We get vocals. Um, I would like to see it maybe loose, looser towards the end, maybe a little improv seeping in, but we hit all the right notes in the Fort Calvin and the transition sound good. Uh, we get a hot plate heaven at the Green Hotel, which is just like really short run-throughs of the verse and then this middle improv section that is like so short and inconsequential. I'm wondering why it's even there. It almost seems like it shouldn't be there. It just seems like just give you the verses and don't even bother to do something in the middle. The Hot Plate Heaven, I think, is underwhelming. We get a King Kong, which is nice. King Kong is good. It's kind of slower. It's taking its time. It's, 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 been it's been given some space to develop. Whole thing's only about five minutes long, but the King Kong works really, really well. Um, we get a Zombie Woof. Again, I think maybe it's good. I mean, they pull it off, but it's definitely a band doing Zombie Wolf. I don't know how much swagger is in here. I don't know how much they're really taking a song that's already pretty unbeatable. They're not really adding anything that I think elevates Zombie Wolf to new zombie status. Um, and then the album closes out with a just completely random 54 second version of the Orange County Lumbe truck, Lumber Truck that's just kind of tacked on at the end that like, as soon as it starts, it's like over, which is just not bad. It's just interesting. So I enjoy this album. Like when I listen to it, it's got some good stuff. Um, I think there are a couple top tier tracks, Zoot Allures, Pinnacle, S tier, best thing on here. I think the Blessed Relief, Big Swifty, Zoot Allures, Dupree, Paradise Run is a pretty fantastic run. The arrangements, the playing, just the way everything pops out, the sounds are good. The Grand Wazoo and the Black Napkins, which bookend those four songs are pretty strong. But then the last half of the album, uh, the the vocals kind of bring us to a point where like, it's just, uh, it's obviously a cover band. Um, but out of that, probably the King Kong is the highlight just because it's a King Kong. But not bad. Um, like I think their heart's in the right place. 
the arrangements are in the right place. Everybody's doing a great job playing the songs. Um, it's just really, it's those, those first six instrumentals which really take this to the next level. Um, where would I rank this if I had to rank this among the other covers? And I don't have to, but I'm going to. Um, out of the 11, right now it's smack dab in the middle. Glaco Veneer, Suana Frank Zappa, um, right there at number six. Um, I think it's a little more interesting than a Harmonia just because of that first six songs on here. Definitely not as good as Band from Utopia. Some of the song selections on Band from Utopia um, and, and the guitar playing and overall just that band um, is a little better than this. But it's a solid six, which is a good ranking because really everything from like seven up, I, I would recommend you check it out. Sweet little band. That's like for babies, but it's really interesting. Um, and then the, the bottom three, uh, Zappi's Universe and Frank the Acapella are pretty good and have good moments, but I think they very much sound like cover albums. They very much sound like a, like a tribute to Frank. Uh, the jam band tribute really only has a couple good moments. But like these top seven, they're like, they're real artists like doing like sort of jazzy interpretations of Frank and I think this stuff really works. But anyways, I would put it in number six. But anyways, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you check this out, your opinions of this. I think it is worth checking out, especially for those first six songs. Uh, but if you do, let me know. Get back to me. And uh, yeah, go check this out. Listen to music. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and do all that other stuff. Thank you, people. Peace. Talk to you later.